So in today's video, I am going to show you that how we can perform reconnaissance for bug bounties like a pro. So before going to this video, if you are new to our channel and if you haven't checked out our website yet, which is bpractical.tech, then you are missing a lot. So let me tell you what our website is. So our website is currently aiming to perform to give you as much free content as possible related to cybersecurity as well as web development. So just need to type bpractical.tech in your browser and you will be redirected to our website. So let me show you what our website currently has to offer. Now our website have currently cybersecurity labs, cybersecurity contents and all of these are based on real world scenarios. Right now we are giving account takeover labs and we are planning to give more later on. So just need to go to this website after that just go to the lab section click on the cyber section and as you can see all these labs are based on real world scenarios so yeah go ahead and check that out if you want to increase your cyber security and bug bounty skills and uh, all these labs are of course free of cost and will always be free now let's come back to the video so the tool i'm going to show you in this particular video will use shodan to extract data so let us talk about what is Shodan basically, right? So Shodan is a search engine for Internet of Things, IoT, right? Any device that is connected to Internet can be found using the Shodan. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to head over to Shodan. So let me head over to Shodan. And you need to create an account over here. So I have already created account, so I'm not going to create again. But I'm just going to show you what we need to do. Just click on login, click on register, and let us wait for a few seconds. Yeah, it's taking some time because my internet is a little bit slow. Yeah, so as you can see, here's the uh, web application. You need to create an account over here. After creating an account, you need to log in. So let me show you how we can log in. Just specify your username and the password that you have specified during the time of creation. Click on login and you will be, okay, I am actually redirected to the registration page. No worries, just click on Shodan. Yeah, as you can see, you will see a dashboard like this. Now, the second thing that you need to do is you need to head over to the account section and you need to copy this API key. We are going to use this later on. And now, the second thing that you need to do is you need to clone a tool which is known as Lily, L-I-L-L-Y. Now, the link is already given in the description and let me show you what this tool is. So, if I type Lily, as you can see, this is the tool. This tool basically uses Shodan uh, features to get sensitive uh, information or sensitive subdomains basically so basically this tool can be also used if you want to uh, extract the origin ip address behind a WAF web application firewall like cloudflare uh, immunity etc so go ahead and clone this tool so let me show you how we can clone this just copy the link uh, let me stop this just copy the link and open your linux machine by the way i'm using kali linux on windows if you don't know how to install kali linux directly on windows machine then i recommend you check out my video you will be seeing the link on the right side of this particular video yeah click on that and check out how we can install it as you can see we have our uh, terminal here let's create a simple directory let's say testing let's move to testing and here let's clone this tool so type git clone and paste the link let us wait for a few seconds and as you can see the tool has been cloned successfully let's type ls to confirm let us move to this directory let me clear the terminal and as you can see we need to run this tool let us see that how we can run this tool basically bash lily dot sh yeah so as you can see we need to provide a domain name and we need to provide the shodan api so before uh, using this tool let me uh, give you a third little bit of theory that how this tool is actually working so basically it is trying to enumerate all the possible domains or subdomains and ip address by using this particular icon it is known as favicon now what this particular icon will do the 
uh, tool will create a specific uh, hash using that particular icon and it will put that hash on showdown and now all the uh, assets all the devices all the servers that are uh, matching corresponding to that hash there if their uh, favicon is matching favicon's hash basically is matching to that of the hash that we have specified on the by using the domain then it will display it back to us right so let's take an example let's say there's a website let's say google.com so we know that all the assets of google will have a icon of google right so this is the reason why this tool will help us basically to get as many subdomain as possible right using the favicon now let us see that how we can use this tool so as you already know we have to specify the domain name and we have to specify the target so for example let us say that i want to find the subdomains of a website which is ripe.net now let me show you that uh, what will the output if i try to find the subdomain using a tool which is known as sublister by the way sublister is also a very great tool and it can be very useful if you want to find subdomain so if i type sublister and specify the domain name let us see how many subdomains it can find let us wait Yeah, so as you can see currently it is able to find almost or zero result right now let us try to use this tool and let us see how many uh, subdomains or how many assets can it find let's clear this and let's type bash lily.sh minus t ripe.net minus a and let's let us specify the api key so let us copy the api key again Let's go to the account section, copy the API key and paste it over here, over the terminal. Now hit enter and let us wait and let us see how many subdomains can it find. So as you can see, it is still running and it has found so many subdomains, right, of that particular domain that we have given, right. So this is why you should add this particular tool in your bug bounty methodology as well. If you want to increase your asset in a bug bounty program or even if you want to perform a regular penetration testing and want to increase your scope, you can use this particular tool. So I'm just going to stop this right here. Yeah. So I hope that you have understood that how we can use this tool and how we can use this tool to uh, in gather as many information as possible, as many assets, as many devices as possible to of the particular target, right? So if you guys have any doubts, if you guys have any issues, then please let me know in the comment section. Also, do join our Telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest, latest trends in cybersecurity and web development or if you have any doubts and if you want to discuss it further. So with that being said, thanks for watching.